We're here today to talk to you about our Benchland Select Cabernet that is produced from our Hill Ranch vineyard on the west side of Rutherford, nestled against the Mayakama mountain range. This vineyard was planted in the late 90s and is still producing wines that are beautiful and that we are hopeful you're trying. The vineyard soil was developed from weathering of the hillside and is a moderately deep soil that allows for concentrated fruit flavors in vines of moderate size. We're really excited to talk about the flavors and what the vineyard imparts in the wine. This vineyard is our only vineyard on the west side of the valley. Of all of the wines that I've had that are from the bench, uh, this is a great example of what comes from that area of Napa. The beautiful flavors, the well-integrated acid, uh, our French oak is well-integrated. It's just a really beautiful wine and we're excited that you're trying it. Stephanie, what are your thoughts on the wines? Well, like Aaron said, the site produces uh, fruit that's highly concentrated with aromas and flavors. Lots of dark fruit, blackberries, boysenberries, and a mixture of red berries as well. Uh, the fruit has very supple tannins to it, so the wines are very, very balanced. Nice, fresh acidity, uh, lovely to drink now or to age. You know, a lot of our vineyards are hillside vineyards, and they have a very different palate. What are your thoughts if you think about this versus what's in the portfolio? I think this wine is more supple, uh, very elegant compared to some of the mountain fruit which is very concentrated and dense. So the fruit is picked at night, it's hand harvested, well at night, comes to the winery nice and cold, we de-stem, so separate the berries from the stems, and it goes to a fermentation tank where we cold soak a little bit without yeast to get some of the aromas and flavors and, and compounds a little bit uh, easier to extract from the skins and we ferment in tank and then once uh, primary fermentation is done we will drain from the skins and finish fermentation in barrel where we do our malolactic fermentation. This wine is aged in 60% new French oak for 22 months. This particular wine is a 2018 uh, vintage which I think has staying power. I think you can uh, keep that in your cellar for some time. How many years do you think? I think this will, will age for quite some time so I mean it's beautiful to drink now but I think you can hold it in your cellar for, for years to come. So my suggestion is to buy a case of it and pull out you know, a bottle every few years. <laughs> I always do that. That's how I handle it too.